Say the Lord, run up, run up, run up. As you taught your disciples to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who are trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. I thank you there, Jesus. I thank you there, Jesus. I thank you there, Jesus. What a mighty God we serve.
We want to thank you, O oh Holy God, for the opportunity this evening, blessed Lord. On behalf of our elder, this hour, O oh Holy God, we want to thank you for spared life and your tender mercies, O oh Holy Father. And nothing good we have done this evening, O oh Holy God. Our righteousness are like filthy rags this evening, blessed Master.
Alright, I'm going to raise my hand, but now I'm going to bring those who need to come up a little closer, a little closer. Praise the Lord. Yes. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let everything that has breath praise, praise the Lord. Glory to His matchless name. Make me praise. 
a day to worship. Yes. That we are still in the land of the living yes, where our prayer and supplication can be made. Mm -hmm. A day we didn't expect to see, but through his grace and mercy, he has brought us this A pleasant good evening. To all the mothers, Mother Teacher Laura, each and everyone, my dear brother, pleasant good evening. Another milestone again. I will bring the hundredth psalm of the Psalm of David. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pastures. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and unto its cause with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth to all generations. The hundred psalm containing five verses all to the honor and glory of God. Glory, glory to the Father. My, my parent family, my brothers in the back, my sister in the back, all God's people tonight are pleasant. 
Good afternoon. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Come on, praise the Lord. Praise, praise the Lord. Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm going to take the lesson today from Psalm 125. Psalm 1, 2, 5. And here begin it. It says, They that trust in the Lord oh, yes. shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be removed, but abideth forever. As the mountains are round about Jerusalem, so the Lord is round about his people, from henceforth even forever. For the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous, lest the righteous put forth their hands unto iniquity. Do good, O Lord, unto those that be good, and to them that are, that are upright in their hearts. As for such as turn aside unto their crooked ways, the Lord shall lead them forth with the workers of iniquity, but peace shall be upon Israel. Here in the Psalm 125, contain the five verses going to the glory of God. I heard the voice of Jesus say, Lay down thy weary ones, lay down. Backstory. So, we, like I said, 
we keep Sabbath, right, on Saturdays, so we're known as Sabbath keepers, right? And you know, contrary to popular belief, what's going on now, that everybody's like, Guyanese, Guyanese, that's not how the true order goes, let me tell you that. Praise the Lord. So you see how we journey in? That's true order, celestial order. Right, praise the Lord. Praise but because I'm also a man of many crafts, you know, when the time reached, we'll maneuver according to me, praise the Lord. Praise so I just want you to understand the order, praise the Lord, because the Lord. it's, you know, I'm tired of people saying this and that, and unless you truly understand the order and can be a maestro to balance the temples, then it'll be by divine, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So I pray that, you know, as we're here, and I get ready to read the text of the day, which is pertaining to the table, right? The reason why this table is here is because two to three years ago, I had a dream. And in the dream, I was in a church and a table was before me. Just a white cloth, nothing on the table, but the colors around was gold and white. And as always, why am I here? What's this about? What's going on? Because anybody who know me, you know, I try not to do too much, but I end up doing too much. And it was for my father. And when I wanted to do it, because I was already keeping other stuff, and I work based off how I feel. I didn't feel it. So I said, you know what? I'm not going to do it. Then one day I said, Father, I said, you know, I was supposed to do it, but I didn't do it. I said, I think we'll turn 80. I said, how old are you now? I said, oh, that's in two years. I said, hmm. God so have it, you know, I got the floor, get a little funds, praise God, praise God. And so we're here just to celebrate life. Because if you know, right, you know, everybody say it, but if you really, really know, he shouldn't have been here multiple times. And so as we pass through, you know, there's going to be a time of deep reflection. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. But the text of the day is coming from John chapter 12, reading from verse 26. And it says, if any man serve me, let him follow me. And where I am, there shall also my servant be. If any man serve me, him will my father honor. I rest at the 26th verse, all to the honor and glory of God. My soul to magnify the Lord. My spirit has rejoiced God, my
set ashore. Jesus is mine. Jesus is mine. Lord, thou hast been favorable unto thy land. Thou hast brought back the captivity of Jacob. Thou hast forgiven the iniquity of thy people. Thou hast covered all their sin, Selah. Thou hast taken away all thy wrath. Thou hast turned thyself from the fierceness of thine anger. Turn us, O God, of our salvation, and cause thy anger towards us to cease. Will thou be angry with us forever? Will thou draw out thine anger to all generations? Will thou not revive us again, that thy people may rejoice in thee? Show us thy mercy, O Lord, and grant us thy salvation. I will hear what God the Lord will speak, for he will speak peace unto his people and to his saints. But let them not turn again to folly. Surely his salvation is nigh them that fear him, that glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth are met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed each other. 
truth shall spring out of the earth, and righteous shall look, righteousness shall look down from heaven. Yea, the Lord shall give that which is good, and our land shall yield her increase. Yea, the Lord shall give that which is good, and our land shall yield her increase. Righteousness shall go before him, and shall set us in the way of his steps. Praise the Lord. We praise the Lord. So first I'm going to like, we're going to do the lower light, right? And so I just want you to, one verse of out of the deep I fall. Out of the deep I Give it up and give 
those who may not know where the Trinity is, right? The Trinity bowl represents three and one, and one and three, right? So, they can play for me.
have a few lights. Alright, I'm gonna call a few people to come and light. Smaller lights. Praise the Lord. So I pray and I call you. Don't waste my time because I won't waste yours. And look at me funny. Just get up and come. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Let the light from the lighthouse shine.
Young Priest, and Laura, and Roy, Michael, all priests and all brothers, and Christ. To the bishop, and to teacher Kessler in his presence, hallelujah. To the children in the midst, well wishers, family in Christ. Shepherd, Bishop, is a man of his word, so time <coughs> is of the essence. Hallelujah. And happy birthday to you. Yes. And I heard my brother said, we reflect. And looking back, not too long ago, And what I'm seeing is an enhancement. Hallelujah. Like you've been touched. You are glowing. You look healthy. Right. Hallelujah. It's the glory of God, I want to say. Yes, amen. There is still favor. Yes. That God has found in you. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And I am understanding this. Life never dies. How yeah. can life die? Flesh dies. Yes. Any man that is in me is a new creature. Yes. We live forever, I understand that now. Yes. We don't die, we separate. There is an end of contract, I understand. So I used to weep, I used to cry. But the memories live on, hallelujah. And why am I speaking like this? But you still need to understand the foundation to make sure you don't get yourself cross up or tired. Right. Praise the Lord. <coughs> so, as I'm burning some incense here, you know, some imported incense from the <coughs> because it's 
about his walk, it's about his journey. And there are many realms and many dimensions and many teachers that walk with him along his journey. Just give obeisance to ascending and descending masters who continue to guide him and in guiding him, they guide him. <laughs> So because, because you know, I wouldn't get too much into it, but I'll just say this prayer and light a heart, light the candle to the sacred heart of Jesus Christ, right? To his sacred heart, not to the image of Jesus, because if you understand history, you will realize. King of the universe, great grand architect, great supreme master, we thy children coming before you, blessed God. That as I turn over this kiddish cup, O God, I pray, O God, you pass by with your touch. Touch the wine, O God. But there has been a process of life, of death, of death and life and death and life, O God, to enter into a state of rebirth, O God. And I pray, O sweet spirit, O gracious spirit, heavenly God, with fire celestial from above. Come now at this meeting here tonight within your Sabbath. Come now and touch, O quickener of the dead, your mansion. Touch even those who gathered here today, O Lord. Pass by, O God. Come. Come forth. Come forth without hesitation. Come forth in peace. Come forth in love. Come forth in all your majesty, Adonai and Shaddai. Come forth, O God. Come forth and hear your people go. Come forth and suck with us, even if it's just for an hour, that we can feel the quickening of your very presence. Pass by with Master Jesus Christ, O God. Our Lord and Savior, that we can understand the way, the true path. Blessed yeah. God. Oh Israel, the Lord our God is what? Here, O oh Israel, the Lord our God is what? Here, O oh Israel, I don't know. 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 I
grab anything you say, you say. If not, you just put it here. Right here. We praise the Lord Church. Glory to God. We praise the Lord. We tell the God praise. We tell our praises for them like we for the great things. Yes. And what more you will do for us if we start in this prayer. Yes. But this afternoon, this evening, it is wonderful because our God is a good God. And as a God, is a good God. And he brought us so far. Knowing my grandson from his mother's womb. Now he's teaching me. So I must say, praise the Lord. This man's servant. Bishop William Fulton. I remember I was once a mother. A man of God. But so many things happen in our life. But I am happy to be here and to see. You say once a man. But God be the glory for great things he has done. Hallelujah. What he's done for he would do for you. Yeah. Today is a special day. Yes. So he said, call me sweet as sweet. And tell him thanks. I must say thanks to the leader. I do what he did. The name and the positions. But my son. And it's more than Bishop Porter. Bishop Porter. I remember Shadrach Bishop. The three were joining into the fort. Yes. But they were supporting. And that fourth man was who? Was it Christ? The Jesus. The Lord. He is Lord. He is Lord. against me. Why? For humility. I could have gone the other side too. Behave like anybody else. But that is not my walk. So, 
This was the only man who stand up and says, what have you done? Tell me first. <laughs> This mother here, she stand up, she say, if you all tell me a reason for you all to, to leave, well then I will confront him and we we'll leave. What is a long story with that? God bless. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Acknowledge him. The Spirit of God in this place to Bishop Kester in his absence, to my mother, Bishop Hoda, to our Archbishop Donna Scott, to our Bishop Caro, to our Bishop in the back there, to Sister Chinese, to all our Jordanite family. I say peace and love. And to each and every one, peace and love. Today is a good day, brethren. I was a little boy running around the church on St. John's and Ralph. <laughs> Praise God, the time it was Sabu. Yeah. Praise God, so I could talk from experience. And today I'm here to celebrate your birthday with you. I pray that God will grant you strength. I pray that the light of God will continue to shine upon you. From the time I've known you, Till now, you have remained the same way, humble, meek, and gentle. And I pray that you stay this way. I pray today that God will pour down his showers of blessing upon you, not only you, but your family. Today, I want to say thank you to Priest William for doing the work that you're doing for your father. Amen. I want to say thank you to Mistress Porter for cooking all the healthy food for the bishop. I never get no soup yet, but it's all right. Tonight, I'm proud. I didn't sleep since yesterday. I couldn't sleep because I was so excited about today. So we have something to be excited about because it's been a long time. But I, I have a hymn, and I'm gonna take my seat after I, uh, uh, I ask the musician to please help me to sing it. There is a land of pure delight. Jesus loves me, that I know. 